Hi everybody, this is Douglas Fancini and today we're gonna talk about the Cisco Router Memories. This content is covered on the CCNA certification. So let's talk about the ROM, RAM and VRAM and the flash memories. Let's go there. If you love IT, English and everything, right place. So let's go there, people. Okay, the first a memory that we have, as you can see here in the picture, uh, let me take uh, another uh, kind of laser here, just you can see everything. This is the ROM memory. This memory, you, you don't need to bring uh, with you or to buy this memory. It is already the ROM, so you don't need to buy a new ROM. It, it is here, and it brings a lot of important content here, as you can see. The operating system software is here, and you, you cannot erase or delete or write content. It is the read-only memory, so it is just for you to use. Okay, it is not for you to rewrite or delete. So, uh, the ROM stands for read-only memory. This is important, and it brings the router's bootstrap startup program. So everything will start here okay if you don't have any other memory on your router everything will start from here and even the power on diagnostic test programs or as everybody know the power on self test is going to happen here just to check the hardware of your equipment okay to see if, if everything is okay with the hardware or the system will not start because if it is something going wrong with the hardware nothing nothing will happen here so the post is important and it is first from the startup program this is the ROM memory as you can see in the picture okay the Second memory I want to talk about it is the flash memory and a lot of called just flash okay because it is like a flash drive you can take with you a lot of places and you take it even on your pocket with you if you don't want to put there and to left it there with the to leave it there with your router you just take with you this is an example of a Cisco flash memory and this one is 60 megabytes uh, my teacher showed me one of these and it, uh, some very funny said it is that some people were putting uh, some photographs some pictures some images here oh my god so when he tried to put another system another file here he couldn't because it was full of another uh, some other uh, files here uh, pictures images and a lot of things and, and this is n not something that you're going to do with your flash memory because the flash memory uh, something to it so Cisco and Sys as you can see the IO images are held here but not images the pictures okay I say the images of the system this is very important and the flash is erasable it is like a flash drive you, you can erase anytime you want and you can reprogram the the ROM memory of the flash drive okay don't make confusion this is not the ROM this is the flash drive okay and you can reprogram everything that is here so if you don't want to to have this system order everything will happen okay with you and the flash memory content is written power that reload this is an important information when you turn off your Cisco router or when you reload or restart your Cisco router the flash memory will be okay nothing will be lost from this memory okay the content is retained as you can see here this is very important uh, another kind of memory that you will find on your Cisco router is the RAM okay the RAM the short for random access memory so this is the only that will be lost when you turn off your Cisco router everything will be lost from the RAM nothing will be kept because just a uh, random access memory so anything access this memory at, at RAM and this is the reason why you cannot keep things here it is a random access random access means I will access and I will go out I will access and say goodbye this is will is this is what will happen with your files here okay and on a RAM uh, on a Cisco router store the operational information so everything that is happening now in on a Cisco router will be in this memory 
okay even the the operational information and the routing tables because everything learned by this Cisco router memory will be here okay for just some time it will not be here forever because it is a random access memory so the routing tables will be here for it for some time and will be lost when you turn off your Cisco uh, router okay and the running configuration file is already here is uh, is also here the running configuration is the configuration that is happening now in the Cisco router on the Cisco router so the RAM contents are lost when the router is powered down or reloaded so if you want to keep this content please save it on another memory and we are going to talk about this memory now okay the non-volatile RAM is the non-volatile RAM so we mean that the contents of the NVRAM are not lost so the NVRAM is very good for you to put your backup okay your backup goes here nothing will be lost if you make a backup so when the router is powered down or reloaded the content w will not be lost okay this is important when holds the running configuration file so the RAM will be with the running configuration the configuration that is happening now that is running now on the Cisco router but the NVRAN holds the startup configuration file it is uh, how the Cisco router will start the next time I turn it on okay this is very important and if the NVRAN is empty because this can happen the NVRAN can be empty when the router reloads you will be prompted to enter the setup mode it is where you're going to go back to the ROM memory a uh, ROM mom will be shown to you as so you can start the, the router with a mini operation operational system you can start it okay uh, I have here some pictures for you to understand the space that you have for these memories it is a kind of uh, a, a lot of space for the RAM because there are a lot of things in here so it needs a great uh, a greater memory you know the RAM the active iOS uh, that is running now in this Cisco router the programs that is uh, with inside of the the running configuration the active configuration file the buffers it is everything that is on a queue to be shown okay so everything you are going to start running on your Cisco router will be around this buffer so be this okay the flag uh, system you put if you keep there it has, okay the ROM has the item no matter if you put or not it is there this is important the NVRAN it is a part for you have your backups so your files your backup files is here okay and the end is that in your Cisco router will you mention in home and interface will show you another intern other pick from the end okay you see a lot of pictures like this and I advise you take pictures from the internet for you to understand this uh, con concepts of the uh, information technology pictures will explain you more than words okay pictures are very important for you to understand so the RAM has the packet buffers so the running configuration and the running iOS the run the ROM monitor the baby iOS it has it is a, an extra reboot a bootstrap for example if you don't have anything any memory you will have this baby iOS this mini iOS for you to start your your Cisco router this will be good for you and the NVRAM it is the space that you have your backup configurations and the register of the configuration that you have okay in the flash you must have an iOS if you put it there because the flash is something that you decide what is going to be there or not okay so uh, I have another picture this is uh, bigger uh, a lot of space here the NVRAM that is here okay uh, the RAM okay you have the RAM here and the NVRAM for store configuration of router all written data is, is, on it, is existing on it and here is another thing important thing you have the interface card for the WAN that is exactly here 
okay very good a picture that i like it very much because it shows the commands of the cli for you to show so the the command line interface when you enter there and in the correct mode of using the case exact mode this is a privileged exact mode that you're going to use to show these things so please be in the correct mode so you you will know how to do this it is just to uh, type enable and you're going to be in this uh, mode of execution but of course if you don't have any password any secret for you to start this you're going to be there if you are the administrator of this network you're going to have the correct password so you can get to this exact mode okay the correct mode so for, for you to see the internet internet work operating says running out in them will this call on the alleged exact mode show version okay if you type show version on your command line interface it will be shown everything that is happening on the Cisco okay? the programs the active connection file the routing tables and the buffers that is there okay you're going to see through this uh, okay these uh, shown version and uh, through this router uh, hashtag that you have here it is for you to show the process on the CPU, everything that is happening now, okay? The version, the configuration, so you can see a lot of things from here. For you to see what is in the flash, the, the card that you have, okay? You, you will uh, type this command show flash. This is a very good command for you to see what's inside of this map. This is important. You can see this is about the memory is so talking about here you can see the buffers uh, this and everything but we're talking about memory uh, if you want to see the startup configuration that is in the NVRAM the, I, I, I think this is some uh, okay I mean that you have to back up before you can see anything on this NVRAM okay you just type the com privileged exact mode show startup configuration okay uh, show startup config the people I hope you like this video I, I have this link where I took some pictures and some information that I just told you and I hope you like this my name is Douglas Fancini and I see you next time